What's up everybody? Welcome to Full Day of Eating number one. I've definitely recorded myself eating food throughout the day, but today we are going to see everything that I eat. Even though I didn't eat this, this is the shake that I basically start my day off with. Some spirulina powder, green food supplement, glutamine, a scoop of creatine monohydrate, and some BCAAs. What we've got going on here is one cup of coffee with about a half a scoop of pumpkin pie MTS whey, uh, less than I'd say an eighth a cup of Splenda, and then some cinnamon. And then you finish it off with your second cup of coffee. Blender right up in the Ninja, and she's good to go. Even better than Starbucks. So here we have oatmeal, one serving of original. Old fashioned and one serving of steel cut, so I can get, uh, you know, health reasons. And I put it in for about three minutes already, and we're just reheating it to get some more fluff to it. So you can see we got some nice volume there. Now we just add these three ingredients and mix her up, and voila, there is half of meal one. I'll show you part two in just a second. Next up, we've got about two servings of Greek yogurt, one serving of My Protein Impact Whey chocolate nut flavor, which by the way tastes just like Nutella to me. And I say to me because my mom does not agree. She says it tastes like motor oil. And finally we've got a sprinkle of grape nuts followed by some puffed kamut, aka puffed wheat, and that is just to get some volume. As you can see I like to use a big bowl for just about everything because Matt Ogus tip there, uh, eat a big bowl and fill it up with a bunch of high volume stuff and it'll keep you full if you have a crazy appetite like myself. Next up we have a Mission One protein bar. Heat it up in the microwave. And lastly, before my two clients, prior to my lifting session, I'm gonna have some sweet potato sprinkled with some Splenda and cinnamon, and then topped off with some cashew almond milk just to kind of cool it down a little bit. This is the last thing I'm having before I go off to train my two clients at 10 and 11, and then I'm going to lift legs so that's why I'm getting some good carbs in today. I'm kind of, just to give you a breakdown of what I'm doing right now, I'm getting close to basically reverse dieting. So that means I'm bringing my carbs back up, I'm bringing my calories back up close to where I started cutting at 3,000 to 3,100 calories. I'm going to slowly acclimate my body to more calories so that I can get myself into a very slight surplus and start putting on some, some muscle. Hopefully put on some weight very, very slowly. I've never been successful at this, but we're gonna give it a try. Where'd you put grape nuts number two? Uh, what? Got here is, as you can see, we made a smoothie-ish type ice cream deal thing with some frozen strawberries, strawberry cream, impact whey from my protein, some cashew milk, a little bit of cinnamon, some psyllium husk for some fiber, and I topped it off with some grape nuts. Oh, there's Greek yogurt in there too. Top off with grape nuts and some puffed millet here for a little bit of texture. And this is basically my post-workout meal. Never done this before, but got some naan. If you couldn't tell, I kind of like cinnamon, like a lot. So this is just Walden Farms calorie-free syrup. And of course, some naan. And we're gonna see Oh, that's good, you guys see for the first time. Do I like it? I mean, what's not to like? Non Walden Farms and cinnamon. Here we go. Yeah, I mean, I'm a genius, but it's whatever. So there you go. That's a pretty good uh, snack prior to dinner. Mom's making fajitas. I won't be having cheese. I'm just trying to keep the calories in control so I can put them with something more voluminous. In case you couldn't tell, this video is show you how I basically cut even though I'm coming out of a cut and I'm starting to get back to more of a maintenance, just until I go off to annual training for 23 days, won't be able to control what I eat exactly, 
and won't be able to lift. I'm going to try to maintain as much muscle as possible while I'm there. It's going to be 24 days, so it's a long time of not lifting. I'm trying to conserve and build as much muscle as possible leading up to it without going into a bulk. So, bring myself back up. Now, this is basically the kind of day that I would have on a cut using the types of foods that allow me to fill myself up while still staying in that calorie deficit, which is how you cut. So you can see we got some broccoli and egg whites. Put it up with mustard. Do not knock it until you try it. It's actually pretty good. I'm very low energy because I destroyed my legs today, but we're going to get this down. And I forgot to film the fajitas that I had, but it's not very high volume, so it's not really beneficial anyway, but they were good. So it's all that really matters to me. But as far as you guys go, uh, it's not really gonna help you out potatoes my mom made and it was delicious skirt steak um, grilled vegetables one tortilla and uh, now I'm gonna go down this and then we got one more thing before bed see that all right guys so I'm gonna show you the last thing that I have and this is pretty much a staple every night before I go to bed I will have about two servings just like I did in the morning of Greek yogurt and I'll mix in some protein. For this evening, we are going to do, we usually like to have something with a little bit of whey, a little bit of casein, that uh, medium and slow digesting protein. So, we are looking at using the PES chocolate cupcake flavor tonight. And that's got only, one gram, 1.5 grams of fat, uh, one gram of carb, and 24 grams of protein. And to be honest, it is amazing. So this mixes perfectly with some Greek yogurt. And then all I do is I top it off with a little bit of Special K for some crunch. As you can tell, I like to have some texture. So hope you liked the video today. Uh, that was a little bit kind of my uh, tips and tricks on how to eat to fill yourself up whilst on a diet or on a cut. If you're trying to lower your calories but eat foods that will still fill you up, things like egg whites, broccoli, a um, good way to keep the fats down or the Greek yogurt. As you can tell, I've switched over from a lower carb, higher fat to more of a lower fat, higher carb lately. Uh, and that's more for training purposes so I can perform better in the gym with that higher amount of carbs because carbs are our body's preferred energy source. So fats you don't run as efficiently on when we're talking about weight training and whatnot. Um, but other than that, uh, you know, that's it pretty much helps me get more voluminous foods in because fats are very calorie dense. So, one gram of fat has nine calories as opposed to one gram of carbs has four. Therefore, you're going to be able to get more, more out by, uh, by weight, but also carbs are generally more, most carbs, some obviously sugars and whatnot, be a lot more compact, uh, but other carbs such as vegetable sources or things like cereal can even be uh, very voluminous, which helps me a lot because as you all know, this boy likes to eat. So that's it for today. Right here we've got our uh, chocolate cupcake PES way in about two servings. It's actually one and a half serving of Greek yogurt, which I get this from Costco. And as you can see on the macros there, 23 protein and 10 carb. Pretty freaking awesome, zero fat. And that is going to top it off for me tonight. Again, uh, that is a full day of eating. I forgot the fajitas. I got everything else but the fajitas and the shake that I had at the gym. But that was just post-workout protein, one scoop of my protein impact way, just to get some protein going in the system. But other than that, that's basically how I stay alive on a cut. I eat high volume food 
and I have staples such as the egg whites and broccoli. I know most people are probably like, that is disgusting. My mom hates the smell of it. And I'm pretty sure most people would think that's just awful, but it's actually really good. I would try it out. I mean, the worst that can happen is you have some egg whites to make a protein pancake or something with, and then some broccoli for dinner left over if you don't like it. But it's pretty good. And the mustard is, it's honestly, really good to me and it's weird but anyway that's it for today guys thanks for watching please like share and subscribe and i will bring more to you guys soon there's a lot more coming now that we got this beautiful kitchen please take a look we have countertops and we have tile it is just absolutely beautiful do you hear that sound oh my gosh that is the sound of a dishwasher running and not me running to the bathroom sink to wash my dishes. So that's it guys, I'll see you in the next video.